We're standing by step number 31 at approximately T minus 28 minutes. At all stations, this is the LC, T minus 40 minutes and counting. We're going to stand by to power on the launch vehicle transmitters at T minus 28 minutes, approximately 12 minutes. LC out.
VLC and a primary countdown net. We've just passed T-minus 35 minutes and counting. Currently, the LV and SV team are green, and the range is green. We're working no issues at this time. POV for uh, weather is 0% probability of violation. We're on track to power on the transmitters at T-minus 28 minutes. We're on track for our launch time of 1549.00 UTC. And all stations is launch conductor on the primary count on that, T-minus 30 minutes and counting. Standing by the power on transmitters with step number 31, 
and 32, page 47 at T-minus 28 minutes. Currently, the TechSet 4 Minotaur 4 launch team is green and working no issues. LCA. At all stations, this is Launch Conductor on the primary countdown net. Step number 31, PCC power on transmitters. Proceeding. Transmitters powered on. Check step 31, VC enable transmitters. Proceeding. Transmitters enabled. Check step 32. Step 33, PCC, evaluate transmitter bus voltage and current. Proceeding. Copy that, sir. Step 34, OD, verify AOS on links 40, 85, 60, and 70. AOS for all links. Copy that, OD. Check step 34. LC. Go ahead, sir. LC step 33, transmitter bus power nominal. Copy that, sir. Check step 33. Step 35, MIFCO acknowledge INS and GPB data now valid for TMIG data evaluation. Roger, acknowledge TMIG and GPB data now valid. Copy that, sir. Check step 35. And all stations were currently complete through step 35, page 47 of the TechSet 4, Minotaur 4 final launch checklist. This time we'll begin a uh, poll for readiness for FTS external power test. All stations report go. VM? VM go. BLC? BLC go. PCC? PCC go. FTS? FTS go. SSO? SSO go. MIFCO? MIFCO go. Copy that. All stations report go. Check step 36. Step 37, MIFCO or SSO. Verify AOS. Strike that. Verify FTS A and B saved. FTS is safe. Check step 37. MIFCO, bring up UHF transmitters with tone 4 on. Uh, Roger, in work. Copy that. LC MIFCO step 38, UHF transmitting, tone 4 on. Copy that, check step 38. FTS, apply external power to FTS A and B. FTS, external power on. Check step 39. BLC, evaluate FTS A and B voltage and current and AGC voltages. FTS, external power and AGC is nominal. Check step 40. Step 41, SSO, verify FTS is nominal. FTS is nominal. Check step 41. 
Step 42, MIFCO, send arm command for two second duration and continue tone four. Roger, arm on my mark. Three, two, one, mark, plus one, plus two, function removed, tone four continued. Copy that, check step 42, step 43, BLC verify receiver arm indication. FTS arm indication verified. Check step 43, step 44, SSO verify receiver arm indication. FTS arm indication verified. Copy that. Check step 44. And all stations were currently complete through step 44, page 49 of the tech set 4, Minotaur 4, final launch checklist, standing by step 45 at T minus 20 minutes in approximately 4 minutes. LCN. And all stations will pick up with T minus 20 minutes in approximately 60 seconds. Step number 45, page 49 of the Tech Set 4, Minotaur 4, final launch checklist. And all stations, this is the launch conductor on the primary countdown net. Step number 45, T minus 20 minutes and counting. 
PLC. Verify T minus 20 minute. Limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check step 45. This is the LC verifying the launch time. The launch time will be year 2011, day 270, hour 15, minute 49, second 00, UTC. Check step 46. And step 47, GNC, report status of upper level wind data. Upper level winds are acceptable for flight. Copy that, sir. Check step 47. And all stations were currently complete through step 47, page 49 of the TACSAT 4, Minotaur 4 final launch checklist. The LV and SV team are green, working no issues. At this time, I'd like to remind the launch team that following liftoff, the site and pad safing activities will be conducted on the backup count on that. The TACSAT 4, Minotaur 4 post-launch mission event callouts will continue on the primary count on that. Additionally, all personnel are directed to shut off all streaming video in order to ensure we get uh, sufficient bandwidth for the Santiago data playback. I repeat, all personnel are directed to shut off all streaming video in the LOCC following liftoff. minus 18 minutes and counting. And all stations, this is Launch Conductor under primary count on net. Step number 48, page 50 of the Taxit 4, Minotaur 4, final launch checklist. VLC with the final launch readiness poll. All stations report go. VM. VM go. BLC. BLC go. PCC. PCC go. VC. VC go. FTS. FTS go. Orb TM. Orb TM is go. GNC. GNC go. OME. OME go. CE. CE go. MM. MM go. OMM. OMM go. SVIT. SVIT go. OD. OD go. GSO. GSO go. SSO. SSO go. MIFCO. MIFCO go. RCO. RCO go. Orbital. Orbital go. Task. Task go. SVPM. SVPM go. LVSM. LVSM go. MD. MDs go. Copy that, sir. LDA. LDAs go. Copy that, sir. Check step 16. And all stations were currently complete through step 16, passing T minus 15 minutes at 
We'll pick up with step number 49 at T-minus 14 minutes. And all stations, the LCN and primary count on that, T-minus 14 minutes and counting, GSO, verify the hazard area, caution area, and impact limit lines are clear for launch. Uh, GSO verifies areas clear. Copy that, sir. Check step 49. And all stations were currently complete through step 49, page 50 of the TACSET 4, Minotaur 4 final launch checklist. At this time, the LV and SV teams are green, working no issues. The range is green, working no issues and our weather is green. Standing by step number 50 at T-minus 12 minutes. This is the LC and a primary count on that. T-minus 13 minutes and counting. And step 50, T-minus 12 minutes and counting, VC, set flight computer launch time. Set the launch time to year 2011, day 270, hour 15, minute 49, second 00, UTC. Flight computer launch time set to year 2011, day 270, hour 15, minute 49, second 00, UTC. Copy that. Check step 50. Step 51, VC, verify countdown sequencer time set to 120 seconds. Countdown sequencer set to 120 seconds. Copy that. Check step 51. And all stations were currently complete through step 51, page 51 of the text at 4, minute or 4 final launch checklist. Approaching T minus 11 minutes, standing by for step number 52 at T minus 10 minutes. At this time, the LV and SV team are both green, working no issues. The range is green, working no issues. And we are working towards a uh, T0 with a 0% POV for weather constraints. And all stations, this is Launch Conductor 
Step number 52, T minus 10 minutes and counting. VLC verify T minus 10 minute limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check step 52, FTS switch FTS A and B internal power on. FTS internal power on. Copy that. Check step 53, step 54, FTS switch FTS A and B external power off. FTS external power off. Check step 54. Step 55, BLC, evaluate FTS A and B voltage and current. FTS internal power nominal. Copy that. Check step 55. Step 56, MIFCO, send arm command for two second duration and continue tone four. Roger. Arm on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Plus one, plus two, function removed, tone four continued. Copy that. Check step 56, step 57, BLC, verify receiver arm indication. FTS arm indication verified. Check step 57, FTS, enable FTLU A and B. FTLU A and B enabled. Check step 58, BLC, verify FTLU A and B enabled. FTLU A and B enabled. Check step 59, SSO, verify FTLU A and B enabled and no destructs. FTLU A and B enabled, no destructs. Check step 60, FTS activate, FTS arm enable. FTS arm enabled. Check step 61, FTS arm, FTS A and B safe in arms. FTS arm on my mark, three, two, one, mark. Check step 62, BLC verify FTS A and B armed. FTS armed. Check step 63, in all stations it's VLC and a primary count on that. With the status, we're currently complete through step 63, page 52 of the tax at 4, Minotaur 4, final launch checklist. Currently standing by step number 64, which is our final authorization for launch pole at T minus 6 minutes and 30 seconds. This time the LV, SV, and range team are working no issues. LC on. T-minus seven minutes and counting. In all stations, this is launch conductor on a primary countdown net. Step number 64, T minus 6 minutes, 30 seconds in counting. CLC requesting final authorization for launch. All stations report go. MD? MDs go. LDA? LDAs go. Copy that. All stations report go. Check step 64, step 65. PCC enable ground ordinance. Ground ordinance enabled. Check step 65, OrbTM start data archiving. Archiving started. Check step 66. All stations were currently complete through step 66, page 52, standing by step 67. minus 5 minutes and 30 seconds. And L this is the LC in the primary content net. PCC apply avionics internal power for the following systems at T minus 5 minutes. Proceeding. Copy that. A 
avionics internal power on. Copy that. Check step 67, 68 PCC switch avionics external power off. Proceeding. Copy that. Avionics external power off. Check step 68 VC enable flight computer auto sequencer start. Auto sequence enabled. Check step 69 PCC arm the flight computer with the VC. Arm enable on. Flight computer arm. Arm enable off. Check step 70 VM verify flight computer armed. Flight computer armed. Check 71 MIFCO acknowledge INS and GPB data now valid for TMIC data evaluation. Uh, Roger, TMIG and GPB data now valid. Check 72, BLC verify T minus four minute limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check step 73, VC place the INS in free inertial navigate mode. Send the command signal to navigate. Copy that. Check step 74. And step 75, VM verify INS is in nav mode. INS in nav mode. Copy that. Check step 75. And all stations were currently complete through step 75, page 55 of the TACSAT 4, Minotaur 4 final launch checklist. Standing by step 76 at T minus 2 minutes. T minus three minutes and counting. In all stations, this is launch conductor under primary countdown net. Step number 76, T minus two minutes and counting. VM verify flight computer auto sequencer started. Auto sequencer started. Check step 76, BLC verify T minus two minute limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check step 77, PCC activate ordnance arm enable. Arm enabled. Check step 78, PCC arm S SNAs. SNAs armed. Check step 79, PCC arm ADs. ADs armed. Check step 80. And all stations were currently complete through step 80, standing by step 81 at T minus one minute. In all stations, this is the launch conductor, T minus one minute and counting. Check step 81. This is the launch conductor, step, step number 82, VM verify stage select activated. VM is go for launch. Copy that, VM. Check step 82. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20. Orb TM, start strip chart recorder. Strip chart, strip chart started. Check step 83. T minus 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. We have liftoff of the Minotaur 4 launch vehicle carrying the Navy's TACSAT-4 communications satellite to orbit from Alaska Aerospace Corporation's Kodiak launch site for DOD's Operationally Responsive Space Office. This marks the Naval 
Research Lab's 100th satellite launch and Orbital Science's 23rd Minotaur launch, lofting a total of 41 satellites and payloads into space. Launch vehicle attitude nominal. Vehicle power and motor pressure nominal. Vehicle is entering max Q. Vehicle attitude nominal. We're now coming up on stage one step, stage two ignition event, which occur in approximately T plus 57 seconds. Stage one set, stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two motor pressure is nominal. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle systems nominal. Stage two motor pressure is nominal. Vehicle attitude is nominal. The next expected event is stage two step, stage three ignition, approximately T plus two minutes and six seconds. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Stage two step, stage three ignition confirmed. Fairing separation confirmed. Vehicle attitude is nominal. plus three minutes and counting. Stage three burnout. The, the current stage three coast period is expected to lack of approximately 20 minutes. T plus four minutes and counting. Termination system has been disabled as planned. Enhanced telemetry and GPB transmitters commanded off. Vehicle systems are nominal. The launch vehicle is now 925 kilometers downrange at an altitude of 372 kilometers, traveling at 14,500 miles per hour. All systems remain nominal. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Confirmed AOS of VTRS. T 
plus 5 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Vehicle attitude is nominal. T plus six minutes and counting. And we have Vandenberg AOS. The launch vehicle is currently performing a slow orientation to the calculated stage four ignition altitude. Yeah, LCRCO, Captain. Vehicle attitude and attitude control system gas usage nominal. The launch vehicle is now 1,680 kilometers downrange, an altitude of 600 kilometers, traveling at a speed of 13,500 miles per hour. T plus seven minutes and counting. Stage 4 ignition is expected in approximately 15 minutes and 30 seconds. T plus 8 minutes and counting. Vehicle power and systems are nominal. Vehicle attitude is nominal. T plus nine minutes and counting. The launch vehicle has completed orientation for stage four ignition. Stage 4 ignition is expected in approximately 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle power is nominal.
ground vehicles now 2,850 kilometers downrange at an altitude of 860 kilometers, traveling at a speed of 12,750 miles per hour. T plus 11 minutes and counting. Vehicle powered systems are nominal. Stage 4 ignition is expected in approximately 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle power is nominal. LOS at uh, KLC. LC, this is GSO. Vehicle power is nominal. T plus 13 minutes and counting. Stage 4 ignition is expected in approximately 9 minutes and 30 seconds. T plus 14 minutes and counting. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. Why do we hit? Vehicle power is nominal. T plus 15 minutes and counting. T 
T plus 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Stage four ignition is expected in approximately seven minutes and 30 seconds. T plus 16 minutes and counting. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle power and all systems are nominal. plus 17 minutes and counting. Stage four ignition is expected in approximately five minutes and 30 seconds. T plus 18 minutes and counting. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. Vehicle power is nominal. T plus 19 minutes and counting. Stage four ignition is expected in approximately three minutes and 30 seconds. T plus 20 minutes and counting.
Launch vehicles now 5,770 kilometers downrange at an altitude of 844 kilometers, traveling at a speed of 12,750 miles per hour. Launch vehicle attitude is nominal. T plus 21 minutes and counting. Launch vehicle attitude and attitude control system gas usage nominal. Vehicle power and systems are nominal. Confirm. Stage 4 electronic power is on. LOS at VTRS. This is the expected time that we would have stage four ignition. T plus 24 minutes and counting. T plus 25 minutes and counting. The estimated time of spacecraft deployment is in three minutes.
T plus 25 minutes and 50 seconds. The estimated time of spacecraft deployment is at approximately 2 minutes and 5 seconds. T plus 26 minutes and 30 seconds. Spacecraft deployment is expected in approximately 1 minute and 30 seconds. T plus 27 minutes and counting. T plus 27 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. The estimated time of spacecraft deployment is in approximately 30 seconds. This is the estimated time of spacecraft deployment based on pre-mission simulations. Santiago AOS is expected in approximately six minutes. the calculated time that the launch vehicle will begin orienting for its CCAM. T plus 30 minutes and counting. Correction, T plus 29 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. T plus 30 minutes and counting. AOS at Santiago is expected in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. This is the calculated start of the launch vehicle CCAM maneuvers.
plus 31 minutes and counting.